สวัสดีค่ะ I'm Marika from Thailand Hello guys Today I'm gonna teach you how to speak Thai You might hear me a uh, greet you all in Thai like สวัสดีค่ะ Right So I think it's a good time to start teaching you all uh, to speak Thai It might be useful for you when you travel in Thailand or you if you have a chance to live in Thailand it might be like uh, advantageous for you okay I'm gonna start with the basic conversation that is greeting greeting is the best starting point for ones who start learning languages and to start a conversation in any languages so it's gonna be our first lesson in uh thai in speaking thai today too okay but before uh i will start the lesson i have something i have a few things to clarify to you let's see The first thing is Thai is a tonal language. It means that we have rising sound, falling sound, rising, falling that are signified, that are significant in terms of meanings. Even though you pronounce a word with a wrong tone, Thai people can figure out what you're trying to communicate. So, Don't worry. Another thing is the purpose of this video is to teach only colloquial Thai language or Thai for daily life conversations, for getting good food, traveling around Thailand, enjoying with Thai friends, or living, surviving in Thailand happily and peacefully. If we have the same purpose, so let's get started. Yeah, let me explain tones in Thai first. Actually, in Thai we have five tones, and one of them is the middle tone. That I'm not gonna talk about it because the middle tone we have nothing to say. Okay. Uh, let's get started with the first one, the rising sounds. Okay, the rest sound I'm gonna use uh, the symbol that looks like forward slash. Mm. If you speak French, you might call it accent aigu, right? To represent the rising sound in Thai. Next, the falling sounds I'm gonna use like accent grave or uh, backward slash in English. The third one, I'm gonna use accent circumflex. I don't know what you call in English, but if you, but if you know, please educate me uh, by leaving your comments below. Thank you in advance. Okay, I'm gonna use the accent circumflex to represent uh, rising, falling sounds. And the last one, I'm gonna use the symbol that looks like worm. I don't know what it called in English. Please help me. I'm gonna use the symbol that looks like worm to represent falling and rising sounds. Let's get start our conversation in greeting. Uh, when you greet in Thai, you just say. สวัสดีสวัสดี very easy สวัสดี means hi hello and you can use only this word all day even though you have to greet in the morning you greet in the evening in the afternoon just say สวัสดี that's it and for uh, the politeness you need to add the final word like ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ If you are female or 
you identify yourself as female, you can use it. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Use the word ครับ to uh, to show your politeness if you are male. Or feel free to use the word ครับ if you identify yourself as a male. สวัสดีค่ะ or สวัสดีครับ If you are LGBTQ+, feel free to use any ค่ะ or ครับ that you like. Thai people um, don't care much about your identities. Okay, let's move to uh, สบายดีไหมคะสบายดีไหมครับสบาย means fine. D means good. My my is like yes no question. Just put my at the end of your sentence. สบายดีไหม and then end your sentence with ค่ะ or ครับ You can observe that when it is a question, the word "ka" we change from "ka." When we say "สวัสดีค่ะ we use lower sound, right? But when we want to make a sentence, you have to use "ka." ค่ะ the arising sound สบายดีไหมคะสบายดีไหมคะ but for male you can use the same สบายดีไหมครับสบายดีไหมครับ okay let's move to the last one สบายดีหรือเปล่าสบายดีหรือเปล่าหรือเปล่า is also yes no question that we put at the end of a sentence. Uh, หรือเปล่า you can use a shorter form like หรือเปล่าหรือเปล่า and you can uh you can use like หรือเปล่าหรือเปล่า No need to try to pronounce the sound because it's quite difficult for you guys uh, who cannot pronounce the sound because you uh, may not be familiar with this kind of sound. It's fine. If you can't, you just say You guys might uh, prefer informal greeting to the formal one, right? So uh, let's start the first word. What d e What d e What d e comes from so what d e We just shorten it from so what d e into what d e And you just add uh, the politeness with the word what d e ka or what d e k r a p If you would like to ask, "How are you? How's it going?" You just say, "สบายดีไหมคะสบายดีไหมครับ Uh, as same as you say in the formal greeting, "สบายดีหรือเปล่าคะสบายดีหรือเปล่าครับหรือเปล่าหรือเปล่า This word might be difficult to pronounce because you might not get familiar with the sound r in Thai. But if you can pronounce r in your language, it might be easier to pronounce this word. r u p l a o r u p l a o In the faster speech, you just hear r u p l a o Like 
สบายดีหรือเปล่าคะสบายดีหรือเปล่าครับหรือเปล่า for shorter sentence you just say สบายดีเปล่าสบายดีเปล่า or สบายดีเปล่า just see that เปล่า or เปล่า um I just say that at present um the initial cluster is not important anymore we don't pronounce a uh, clear l or r in the cluster uh especially in spoken language we don't say like blau or krap clearly in spoken language we just say kap pao it's fine and it's understandable you can say like this pao kap do not uh don't force yourself to pronounce blau or krap or r And the choices one, by the me, by the pa. Is it easy? By the me, by the pa. This kind of sentence we just use with a uh, close friends. By the comes from, so by the. Ma is derived from, my, and pa. Is derived from blau. You just use ma and pa to ask any yes no questions in Thai. Please remember them. Ma, pa. Ngai ma. Is it easy? I'm gonna end my lesson with three questions for small talk. These are questions that uh, you might ask Thai people, or Thai people might ask you. Let's start with the first one. Pai nai ma. Pai means to go. Nai nai. Falling and rising sound. Nai nai means Where and ma means to come. So this sentence means, "Where have you been? Where have you been?" The second one, "Ma tham arai t h a ni." Ma, ma means come. Tham, tham, tham means to do. Arai, arai, arai means what? t e o t e o falling and rising, falling and rising. t e o t e o ni, t e o ni, t e o ni. t e o ni means here. So. มาทำอะไรแถวนี้ means what are you doing here and the last one กินข้าวมาหรือยังกิน means to eat ข้าวข้าว rising and falling sound ข้าวข้าวมา to come หรือยังหรือยังหรือยัง We use the word หรือยัง at the end of yes no question, but it means yes or yet. So this sentence means, Have you eaten yet? Have you eaten yet? Remember, 
it's not necessary to answer this kind of question or you can just give a short answer because um, Thai people, they don't want to know exactly uh, what, where, uh, what you are doing around here or where uh, you have been or they don't want to know whether you have eaten yet but they just want to start a conversation uh, with these kind of questions. You just give them uh, a short answer. It's fine. Okay? Do not be serious about the, the answer that you have to give to them. Hey, what do you think about my lesson? Is it easy? Ngai, mai ka. I hope you enjoy my lesson. See you next time. Even though we greet in different language, we are the same as human. Bye.